Back when BYD decided to copy Tesla's strategy of building pretty much the same size, same type of battery, 4680 cylindrical batteries, a lot of people said it was a huge mistake. They said, BMW, don't follow Tesla into the abyss. Those cylindrical cells are a terrible idea. BYD went, well, BMW, I should say, they went ahead and did it. And they seem to have achieved some pretty remarkable results. In fact, their new technology using their 800 volt platform suggests that BMW is probably a pretty long way ahead of Mercedes Benz and Audi and other German brands. I mean, that's probably not saying a lot, but that's actually pretty impressive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I think we got 500 and 20 or 530 members now. Thanks for joining. I'll put a link in the description if you want to become a member. BMW's 800 volt new class, let's just call them their new EV technology, it will enable 30% faster charging. Uh, that's not really saying a lot, to be honest. BMW's EV charging speed is um, pretty slow. But more importantly, I think they're going to offer more than 500 miles of range. Really, I mean, if you can get an electric car with more than 500 miles of range, there's absolutely zero reason. And with fast charging, why the hell would you want an internal combustion car? BMW, by the way, guys, I should let you know this story. BMW said in the future, they are not going to publicize the weight of their plug-in hybrids. They're not going to publicize it. Uh, that report came out a few days ago. They said they're not going to publicize the weight of their plug-in hybrids because they're so heavy that BMW is getting criticized by everyone, the media, fans. They're like, what the hell? These things are so heavy. And really, people say electric cars are heavy, but BMW's new M5, so it meant to be their sports saloon, it's um, it weighs 2,550 kilograms. So it's like, what, not far off 6,000 pounds. I think BMW would be better off using just these batteries in this in the new M5. It'll make a much faster car. Look at the Xiaomi SU7 Ultra. Xiaomi SU7 Ultra, what's it got? 1,500 kilowatt. Insanely fast. I mean, scary fast. Anyhow, BMW has released tech details about its Gen 6, Generation 6 eDrive EV technology, and it actually sounds pretty good. To be honest, they're still a bit behind some of the Chinese, but it's a big step in the right direction, right? And one of the things I notice about these BMW new class EVs is they look a bit interesting, very different, but and not my style, not my taste. I, I wouldn't go, hey, look at that. I really want a car looking like that. I'd probably do the opposite. But a lot of people like this design. I'm surprised. I mean, BMW's EV sales are surging worldwide. They're doing really well. So what do you guys think? Do you like the design or are you like me? I mean, for me, it, it doesn't work. But for a lot of people, clearly it must. Taking over from the current Gen 5 eDrive technology, Gen 6 arrives later this year in the first of the new class cars, the iX3. But it's going to be rolled out to the entire lineup of BMW EVs, including M models. So it looks like new M models like M3, M5 will get this, these batteries and this technology probably within the next maybe 12 to 18 months. The 800 volt charging cap capability, that's basically the structure of the car. And the batteries are built from cylindrical cells, which are similar in size to Tesla's 4680 cells. Apparently, this allows them to be one-fifth more energy dense, says BMW, and charge 30% faster, meaning they're going to get about 30% more range compared with the brand's current electric cars. I mean, realistically, that would mean BMW could with, say, let's say you put in a 90 kilowatt hour battery into a BMW 3 Series, you get around probably 550 miles of range. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. That range boost can't come soon enough for BMW's EVs, say some people. Some people say, um, you know, some models just don't have enough range. And yeah, I mean, some of them do, some of them don't. The BMW iX2 xDrive 30, that's one of the most popular BMW EVs because it's cheap or relatively cheap for a BMW but it does only have 285 miles of range. That's 460 kilometers, which for a premium car, is, it's not a lot. Apparently though, all of BMW's generation six EVs will have bi-directional charging. I don't know what that means, guys. Does that mean uh, DC charging? As in they can send DC charging out of the car? That would be vehicle to grid. That would mean they'd be capable of vehicle to grid. That would be huge. 
bi-directional charging, I mean, vehicle to load would be, you know, nothing. pretty much every EV has those except Tesla's. Vehicle to load would be, yeah, you know, it's good, but not great. But bi-directional could potentially mean vehicle to grid. We don't know yet. So what about these battery cells? Well, apparently they're packed directly into the battery rather than being put into modules. So essentially BMW has gone, yep, structural batteries. Tesla's doing them. BYD is doing them. XPeng is doing them. All of China is doing them. Well, most of China is doing them. They're a good idea. And this enables the vehicles to lose weight or be lighter. Of course, putting the batteries into the structure of the car like that enables the car to sit lower as well, the, basically the seating space. It cuts weight and it increases strength. And apparently BMW says the completed battery packs are very slim. Now, obviously, <laughs> you know, BYD and many brands have been making slim batteries for years now. But BYD says that this new innovation makes them suitable for sports cars, not just high-riding SUVs. That's good news. BMW has revealed it will fit a asynchronous motors to the front axle of all-wheel drive X-Drive EVs because they're more compact and cheaper to build than the current permanent synchronous type motor. So they're putting smaller motors into cars which are lighter weight. That's good, that's good news. The more innovations we have like this, I've reported on this um, a few times, BMW's been working on this, but so has Mercedes-Benz. Multiple different companies around the world are working on these smaller motors and they're getting smaller and smaller and more power dense and more power dense. It's remarkable what these small electric motors are doing. I mean, you can get a small electric motor now that's you know this big, weighs about 60 kilograms and has way more power than 95% of internal combustion engines on the road. It's just truly amazing. The Generation 6 Drive systems have been in pre-production at BMW's factory, uh, their plant in Austria, since summer of 2024. But series production kicks off in September this year in launch for the iX3 this fall. Uh, apparently, there has been a decision for new class cars to be built in five different production locations. So these electric cars will be made in Germany, Hungary, China, Mexico and the United States. Now, of course, we all know it's more expensive to make cars in Germany than any of those other places. I suspect this is this would be the order of cost to make the cars. Cheapest is obviously going to be China. Mass production there levels, I mean, yeah, China. Second, equal second would be probably Hungary and Mexico. Uh, third, or well, actually they're going to be fourth, aren't they? Would be the United States and Germany is definitely last in terms of being the most expensive. You can imagine, therefore, that Germany will try to move the majority of the production to China. It would cost them a lot less money to do that. And of course, they're going to hope, be hoping that the Chinese will buy their cars because, as you know, all legacy automakers, including particularly the German ones, are really struggling in China. Guys, what do you think? Do you think this technology will be enough for BMW to ride out the Chinese disruption that's happening right now? I don't. I think it's good, but it's not quite good enough. But it is good that BMW are doing this in-house. They aren't doing it by themselves, though. They do have a partner for this battery production. Same thing for the electric motor production. But anyway, it is more sense. They are becoming more vertically integrated. And I think there's a, an awareness from automakers knowing that they do need to become more vertically integrated to cut costs, to improve efficiency, and to improve integration as well. Big changes here. Structural battery pack for a BMW, that's good. 30% increase in energy density, really good. And a, bit, a very big increase in charging speed, also good. It's really kicking some goals here, BMW. Just pity about the vehicles still looking a bit ugly. What are your thoughts? Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye.